Right, now that we have initialized our DSP as a custom model, we want to show you the result on Harmonia. So we open it. As said before, also make sure that your Digimod IK is correctly connected to your PC using the ProNet tool and the other accessories. Now, last thing to check is that the correct serial port is actually connected. So we go on Options, Communication Manager, and yeah, Serial Com 10. OK. So we click on the Discovery button, and uh, we are expecting to see our custom model. So no more a Powersoft model, but what we just done before during our custom initialization. So our image with our processing, our presets, and our descriptions and of the model. So finally we have our custom model, so we double click on it and we wait until it becomes available on our workspace. So we just have to wait until the outer board becomes green. So we just double click on the model. Uh, just let me stretch the window up a bit. So we go on the presets tab and okay um, these are the two locked presets these are the four presets we have stored into the DSP during the initialization process so we just open the scheme this is preset one and we check the filter applied the filtering applied so high pass and low pass then we just check preset two so we load the preset two and this should be the one with the limiters settings applied on it. Um, so we just wait till the device becomes available. Okay, so scheme and then limiter settings, functional blocks. And then, yeah, these are the cursor and pick limiters enabled. So what we are seeing during this tutorial is the great customization tools introduced with the new Harmonia 2.5 and the Harmonia Pro Manager and I'm pretty sure you will make a great use out of it.